I'm James, uh, James R. Bell, with Bill, and I'm a supporter of Fight Racism, Fight Imperialism, or the Revolutionary Communist Group. This is our newspaper. Okay. What do you see the role of culture being as a political act? It's a difficult question because I think culture plays a lot of different and important roles. I think that culture in terms of consumable culture is different from general culture. So general culture would be like things like common sense, which can be like a fair day's pay for a fair day's work, which is obviously under capitalism, that still equals exploitation, so it's a form of political control. But it's very deeply embedded. And the role of revolutionary culture, I don't view as shattering that illusion or anything like that. I view it as embedding new beliefs in people who begin to become politically active. I view it as kind of like a linchpin which can bring people together, but who already have the same ideas. I don't think we can cause people to have new ideas. What do you think the main political struggles are at the moment? Not here. <laughs> um, I think, but uh, yeah, if you look at it on a world scale stage, you've got the you know the Kurdish revolutionary struggle, um, the, the revolutionary struggle in Venezuela, and the, the resistance in Palestine, and those three struggles I think are on the forefront of class war. In Britain, I, we could say you know a struggle against austerity, but the reality is a, there's no movement against austerity. There's a general anger, and that's why Jeremy Corbyn is now head of the Labour Party. Um, because he was able to articulate that, but there isn't a movement or a political struggle against it. I think in the future we're going to see a drastic change in these things, and the Autumn Statement is kind of a, a key to that, because it, it's, it, it's a slowing down of austerity, and I think the reason for that is quite simple, and it's that the British state is preparing the ground to go to war. It's preparing the ground, and it doesn't want any internal dissent, it doesn't want any disagreement against its policies so it can channel all of its resources to that war. And I think on a global scale, the nature of struggle is going to change very, very, very quickly, because I think we're heading towards a world imperialist confrontation. And why are you political? My dad grew up in Percy, Maine. <laughs> That's all I can really say about that. Okay. <laughs>